How to locate the flasher relay and replace with an LED compatible electronic flasher relay. This video is intended to show you how to replace the relay to avoid hyper flashing when upgrading to LEDs. It is not intended to show you how to fix a relay problem. In this video, we will cover traditional thermal flasher relay, hyper flashing, electronic flasher relay, how to locate, how to replace, and a summary. What is a traditional thermal flasher relay? A relay to control when to flash and how fast to flash signal bulbs. How does it work? A traditional thermal relay has a coil, capacitor, and resistor as the main components. The flash rate is not set and will change according to its load. If less current is running through the coil of a thermal relay, the capacitor in the relay will charge and discharge more frequently, which will cause a quicker on-off flashing. On the other hand, if the current is higher, the slower the flashing rate will be. What is hyperflashing? Hyperflashing happens when the signal bulbs flash at a faster pace than designed by the manufacturer. This is to inform the driver of a presence of a faulty turn signal bulb, which is a safety issue. Why does my relay hyperflash? The current running through the traditional thermal relay is less than what is expected. Less current is the cause, hyperflashing is the outcome. Why do I get less current? There are two common reasons for a reduced current. One, a burnt out turn signal bulb. The average lifespan of a 3157 turn signal bulb is from 1200 to 5000 hours. If you have a driver side rear turn signal bulb burnt out, then the current running through the flasher relay is at 50% of the design value. Two, you've installed LED turn signal bulbs. A typical LED bulb consumes less power. A 3157 LED bulb consumes about 8.4 watts or 0.7 amps under 12 volts DC. A stock 3157 halogen bulb consumes 27 watts at 2.25 amps under 12 volts DC. If you replace the driver side both front and rear turn signal bulbs, then the current running through the flasher relay is 31% of the design value. How do you fix hyperflashing? The fix for the first cause is to replace the broken bulb. The fix for the second cause, if LED signal bulbs are installed, there are two cures. One, you can fix the symptom. Add the missing current by installing a load resistor. The pros for this fix is it's easy to do and it applies to every vehicle. The cons, the installation involves modifying your turn signal wires. You'll need to T-tap or splice into the factory signal wires, as well as drill a hole on a metal part to mount the resistor. This is typically not an ideal fix for new car owners. You will also lose the function of hyperflashing even if you have a faulty turn signal bulb, because the current from the resistor is very close to the required value. Please refer to our resistor video for more information. 2. Finding and fixing the root cause. Replace the thermal relay with an electronic flasher relay. The pros for this fix is one relay will fix all four turn signal bulbs from hyperflashing. Plus, it is cost effective. A relay costs only about $10. The cons for this is one, not every vehicle has a replaceable thermal relay, and two, it can be lots of labor. Some vehicles may require you to disassemble the dashboard, which is usually a lot of labor. A few other frequently asked hyperflashing questions. Question 1. Why do both the front and rear signal hyperflash when I only replace the front or rear with LEDs? This is very common. As we mentioned earlier, both the front and rear turn signal bulbs on the same side are in the same relay circuit. They always flash at the same pace. So think of your turn signals as passenger and driver side rather than front and rear. Question 2. What if none of my turn signals flash? or the brake light or reverse lights are not working after replacing a failed turn signal light. We recommend to check the fuse first. What is an electronic flasher relay? An electronic flasher relay is designed to replace a traditional thermal relay and is compatible with both halogen and LED bulbs. How does it work? The flash rate is set by a timer IC. How do you locate a traditional thermal relay? First, find out if your vehicle has a physical flasher relay that you can replace. A lot of vehicles do not, especially newer vehicles. 
Some car manufacturers started using onboard relays as early as 2005. So how do you determine if your vehicle has a flasher relay? You can do some research on the internet, forums, or YouTube. You can check the print on the relay box cover. You can ask the dealer for help. Or you can look at the diagram in the owner's manual if there is one. Once you've determined there is a serviceable flasher relay, activate the turn signal and trace the tick-tock, tick-tock sound that usually comes from under the dash or the fuse relay box. After you've narrowed down the few possible targets, touch and feel them one by one. Usually you should be able to feel the click from the relay itself. The last step is to turn off the power to the car and remove the target relay. Then turn back on the power to verify. If you've removed the correct relay, then there will be no click sound or a dash indicator. However, be prepared, error codes might appear if you've removed the wrong one. Don't worry though, the code usually resets after about 20 miles of driving. Here we'll illustrate the steps on a 2006 Toyota Camry. We first need to determine where the relay is located. There are a few locations where it could be. It could be under the hood in the fuse box, or it could be behind the dash, or it could be in the footwell area. We turn the turn signal on to try to trace the tick-tock sound the turn signal makes. It doesn't seem to be coming from under the hood, but we notice it starts getting louder inside the car. It's getting louder still under the dash. Let's trace the sound from one side to the other under the dash. The loudest yet seems to be coming from behind this panel here. Before we move any further, we'll demonstrate one more time how to trace the sound. It's still quiet under the hood. It's getting louder now inside the car. and the loudest spot is somewhere in this bunch of wires. If you touch the relay, you will feel it clicking. We think this is it, but to be sure, we'll turn off the car and remove the relay. With a pair of pliers, gently grab the relay, wiggle it, and pull it out. To disconnect the relay, push down on the black tab on the wire connector and pull them apart. We're going to turn the car back on and test it one more time to be sure we got the right relay. When we turn the turn signal on, there's no indicator on the dash and no more clicking sound, so we have the right relay. We turn the power off one more time and now we can install the relay. The relay will plug right into the wire connector. We'll test it to be sure it's working. The indicator is back on the dash and the relay is clicking, so we can finish installing. And one final test. We can see the turn signal is flashing at a normal rate. No more hyper flashing. How do you replace the turn signal relay? Replacements should be plug and play. However, not all relays have an electronic version available on the market. What are the electronic relays available on the market? There's the 8 pin, 2 pin, 3 pin, 5 pin, and a two-pin motorcycle. What are other fitment issues from an electronic relay? The replacement relay looks different. Let's say there's no electronic version available on the market for your particular vehicle, but you found a relay with the same pins, but it looks different. Will that work? Yes, as long as the relay diagrams match. What if I can't find a relay diagram? 
try it. If you're able to identify and match the positive and ground from both the stock and replacement. For example, a three pin relay has this pin orientation. If your stock relays are marked the same, then you can try to install it. What if it's too big? If the electronic version is too big for the stock relay slot or with a different shape, you can use a bridge circuit to make the connection. To summarize, not all vehicles have a replaceable thermal flasher relay, but all have the click sound. Don't be fooled by the sound. Do some research before you remove the dashboard. And if you decide to go with resistors, make sure to mount them properly away from any plastic parts as it runs as hot as an engine. After you've replaced the thermal flasher relay with an electronic one, have fun with LED turn signal lights. If you've never heard about LED switchback turn signals, check them out. Safer, smarter, brighter, better. We are ALA Lighting.